Hello everybody, you're very welcome to this episode of Programming and Algorithms. In this episode we're going to look at linked lists. So we kind of saw linked lists a little bit in the last semester, and now let's go into a little more detail. So we'll remember um, that we, with arrays, with an array, it's a fixed number of elements. So we state at the start how many elements are going to be in the array. Whereas with a linked list you can dynamically add more elements in or take them away. So a linked list is made up of nodes. Each node has two parts, a value and a pointer. So the values are like a value in an array. Think, think of an array of eight elements. Each element is a value. But a linked list also has a second thing called a pointer, which points to the next node in the linked list. So let's see an example. There is a value of 23 plus a pointer to the next node, which is a value of 62 with the pointer to 37, with the pointer to 31, and then a linked list normally terminates with a null value, which is a special value that indicates there's nothing else in the list. We also, um, mean the, so the side of the list that doesn't have the null is the start of the list. The side that does have the null is the end of the list. If we want to add a value in, it's really simple. Let's say we want to add a value in to the third position. All we do is we create the node, then we make the second node in the linked list point to the new node and have the pointer from the new node point to the what was the third element in the list. And then we have the, 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 th the elements in the list as such. The only way we can access a list is by going from the head, the start, 23, on to the end, so whatever 23 points to is naturally the next element of the list. If we want to delete a value, it's much simpler. If we want to get rid of 26, all we do is change the pointer that that is in the second element of the list that points to the third to point to the fourth instead. Now that 62 points to 37, we, even though 26 is still there as a node, it's not part of the linked list. Because if we start at the head, it's 23, 62, 37, and 31. So even though 26 is still pointing at it, we can't get to 26 at all. So that's what it looks like, the linked list now. That value is gone. So as we said, the linked list is two parts. Each node, rather, in the list is two parts. It has a value and a pointer. The linked list also has a pointer that points to the start of the list called head. So as we can see here, the head pointer points to the start, and we know we've reached the end when we reach null. So we declare a node in a linked list by saying as follows, type node, the value can be an integer type in this case, and then the pointer is of node type, end type. So check it out. We're declaring a new type called node, and then we're creating a pointer to that type. So this is called a recursive definition but the pointer points to another node, so that's how we declare it. We'll look at implementing the following modules. How do we create a linked list? How do we delete a linked list? How do we check if a linked list is empty? All right, so let's look at creating a linked list. All we need to do to create a linked list is just set the head pointer to point to null, so create an empty list. So the code will just say, create list, head points to null. How do we delete a linked list? We delete a linked list. Well, look at this linked list. If we want to get rid of it, all we need to do is change the head pointer from pointing to 23 to point to null. And then the list is gone because we start at head and it just points to null. So it's exactly the same as creating it. We assign head to be null and then the list is gone. How do we check if a linked list is empty? It's empty if the head points to null. So we can do it either by saying if head equals null, then empty is true, else empty is false, return empty, or just return head equals to null. If head is null, it's true, so the list is empty. If head is not equal to null, it's not true, it's false, so we return false. Let's look at implementing, printing out all the nodes in the list display list, finding a particular value in the linked list, inserting a new node into the linked list, and deleting a node with a given value from the linked list. How do we display the list? Well, we start 
we create a new pointer called head and head uh, a new pointer called current which points to whatever head points to and then current will say tell me what uh, what value is in the current node 23 then it'll say okay now current gets the value of whatever current is pointing to which is 62 then current gets the value of whatever current is pointing to which is 26 then current gets the value of whatever current is pointing to 37 then current is getting gets the value of whatever current is pointing to which is 31 and then when we try and give current the value of whatever current is pointing to it's null so we stop there just like this stop so here's our code we ha ha create a pointer called current of type node and it points to head and then we say keep on looping while the po current dot pointer is not null print out the current value and then current is assigned current dot pointer so we keep going through the list until we get to the end if we want to print out a count of the number of nodes as well we should just add in a, a counter variable called count nodes start at a zero then each time around the loop while the current pointer is not null, we increment the count nodes variable by one. And then after the loop is over, we can just print out the count nodes. So that's the code for printing out the values and counting the number of elements in the, in the linked list. With some of this code, when we implement it in Python, there might be extra bits we add in. But this pseudocode for the moment is just giving us a view or a rough design of how these modules will look. How about finding a node in the linked list? If the value we're looking for is n, or 37 in this case, we use current, we look at the first element. If that's not 37, we move on to the next one. If that's not 37, we move on to the next one. If that's not 37, we move on to the next one. If we find 37, then we're done. So here's our code. We keep looping around, and there's two conditions. One is if the current value is not n, and the other is if the current pointer is not null and then we just keep doing current is current dot pointer now one of two things will have happened either we've re reached the end of the linked list which is current dot pointer equals null or we found the value we're looking for which is current dot value equals n so if current dot pointer is null we haven't found the value else we have found the value let's look at inserting a node in a particular position so let's say we need to, t to add a value after position four. We have our pointer current. We could get to number four. We create our new node with value n in it. Then whatever current is pointing to, we change that to point to. The, the new node points to the value after current. And now current will point to the new node. So let's see it. This is creating the current pointer, then integer position counter, we create a counter and it starts at 1, and then we create our new node and give the value of the new node n. Then we say keep looping around, counting where we are until we get to the necessary position we want to be in. Then as it happens, if that position is 0, if we're saying add the new node to the start of the list, all we simply do is say whatever the list is pointing to at the moment, which is head, new node dot pointer now is pointing to head, and now the head pointer is moved back to point to new node. Otherwise, whatever position we're in, we just say, the new node pointer now points to whatever current is pointing to, and current dot pointer is now pointing to new node. So the new node gets the value after current, and current gets new node. And that's it all together in one block of code. Now let's look at deleting a node that has value n in it. For this we need two pointers, one is current and one is previous. Current points to the head and previous points to nothing beforehand. Then the next time around, previous points to head and current points to the next value. Next time around, they're both moved on, both moved on, both moved on. When we find the value we want to delete, previous is pointing to the value before the one we want to delete, current is the one we want to delete. So we just say previous.pointer gets whatever current.pointer is pointing at. 
previous dot pointer, the 26th pointer now is po pointing at what 37th pointer was pointing at, which is 31. So here we go, same as before, we, we create our, our two pointers, we create current being equal to head, but we have previous now null. If the current value is n, then the head gets the current pointer, which is fair enough. So if that's the one we want to delete, then it's really simple. If the first element in the list is the one we want to delete, then we just say, um, make that what head is pointing to. Otherwise, what we do is we loop around and one of two conditions occur. Either we get to the end of the list and we haven't found n. That'll be current pointer will be null then. Or we find the value and it's equal to n. So until that point, we keep looping around, setting previous to be current and current to be whatever current is pointing to. And then if it is the case that we found the node we're looking for, all we simply do is say previous dot pointer is assigned current dot pointer. So whatever previous was pointing to, forget about it. Now previous dot pointer is pointing to whatever current dot pointer is pointing to. So as we can see in the little diagram over here, now previous is pointing to what current is pointing to. So the list reads this one, this one, then this one. So we've deleted successfully the current pointer, the current value. And that's all the code together. If we want to print out the number of nodes, the node number where the delete occurred, we just add in a counter and we increment it around the loop. And then we uh, print out what position it was deleted at. So that's the code fully for that. So that's linked lists. Thanks very much. We'll see you on the next episode.